perfect community support worker in that she um, has the ability to really be where the person is. She can really meet them where they are and help them to move forward and give them hope. I think what really makes her a hero uh, is how she persisted. So I said to myself, if I don't hire this person, I probably will regret it. You know, what I wish for, for Nan to know is, I don't care, I love her. <laughs> Mental health champions are everywhere, but most of us don't know them, and we should. One mental health champion can be found in Mexico, Missouri, where Nan Chamberlain has a life full of hope and promise. She is an outstanding social worker and mental health advocate, a wife and mother of three sons and one granddaughter. She works at Arthur Center in Mexico, a local community mental health center, helping other mid-Missourians overcome the challenges of living with a mental illness. But the active, productive life that Nan has today is a huge leap forward from her battle with bipolar disorder, a serious mental illness that affects thousands of Missourians. Without treatment, the results can be disabling. Yeah, I went to class and I did my homework, but I also occasionally went to the hospital and did my homework while I was in the hospital. Um, Occasionally I had to drop classes, not very often. My professors were pretty understanding. Um, I had one horrid year when I was in a bad environment, a uh, really, really bad apartment. Um, my medications stopped working and uh, I was just in a bad frame of mind entirely and uh, I spent, it seems like as much time in the hospital as out, but I spent the entire year depressed and uh, I ended up having to drop out of school for a short period of time for a semester. But I got back in and finished. A year later than expected, but I finished. For Nan and the thousands of other Missourians with a mental illness, the road to recovery can be difficult. Nan found support in her family, in support of state programs, in mental health professionals, and in an innovative concept of procovery. I like procovery because you can start from where you're at, move forward, and if you get knocked back a bit, you can start from where you're at and move forward. And pretty soon you're moving a little further forward than you than you're getting knocked back. College had always been a dream of mine. And uh, but I wasn't sure how I was gonna achieve it, but Freya gave me a chance to do that. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, I I still had to struggle with with the bipolar. Um, it's something that's, you know, with you. It's it's part of you, but it's not, it doesn't def define you unless you let it. One of Nan's supporters has always been Dr. Joe Parks of the Department of Mental Health. Dr. Parks is one of the mental health professionals that helped Nan with treatment for bipolar disorder. He's seen the tremendous progress that can be made through treatment and other supports. Some patients can be both depressed and manic at the same time. And that was one of the things that Nan struggled with. People just get worn out. Um, Nan struggled with that for years, and she had good periods, and she had bad periods, and uh, she was really brave with handling the uncertainty. Nobody's a hero without getting wounded, and mental illness wounds people, and it wounded Nan. Now, once you get wounded, you can be a victim, but if you persist, you can be a hero. It's kind of like a personal choice. And Nan made the choice to persist. She just kept on trying. Taking solace in her widening circle of support, Nan not only completed her graduate degree in social work at the University of Missouri, but she also researched an existing curriculum for engaging mental health consumers and social work students. She brought the curriculum idea to her professor. I'm involved in a research project with a colleague at SUNY Albany where we look at direct consumer participation and 
consumer interaction with psychiatrists, social workers, and psychologists, and the incredible effect that can have. And when I saw that implemented by Nan and her project and her curriculum here, it just blew me away. Nan is, was just a mentor for the way we look at clients. And as much as we as professors emphasize the strengths-based approach, Nan lives it and works with students of all, she's accepting of every student in that classroom. After completing her internship with the Department of Mental Health, Nan graduated with honors from the School of Social Work at the University of Missouri. On that same day, she got married. It was a day to remember. I got by, and I graduated, and I got married on the same day. <laughs> we got married in the morning and went out to a barbecue house and had ribs, and then Nan graduated that, eight, that afternoon, and then we went to our reception and mm -hmm. had cake. So it was a it was a nice day. It was a pretty day. A beautiful spring day, May 12th. Today, Nan works at the Arthur Center in Mexico, a community mental health center. She brings the unique and effective perspective to her job as a community support worker. Options Unlimited is the name of the program that serves uh, folks with serious mental illness here in Mexico. And Nan is a part of that program. That program helps people to recover from be, you know, being disabled because of a mental illness and helps them to realize that it's, it's not a lifelong curse, but that you can pull yourself up and really recover from a mental illness and really develop a life, have a job, uh, have a home, um, have a family, and be a parent, um, whatever your goal in life is. With Nan having that unique experience of of being a consumer along with a mental health professional, I sometimes will assign a client to her because I know she is going to understand what that person is struggling with and will have a good perspective on how to help them and how to lead them to recovery. I know that I can use my experience to help my clients. Tell me about that. I know what they're going through. I disclose my condition to my clients who have bipolar because then they know that I get it, that I'm not just talking out of the side of my mouth, uh, that I really do get it when they say that they're in pain, uh, when they talk about the depths of despair or dancing on top of the world, they know I get it. The journey for Nan Chamberlain has not been easy, but it has been worth it. It is an inspiration and an example for all of us to understand the yearning inside of people with mental illness to be more than a diagnosis or some other label. There is hope. There is opportunity. There is community inclusion. For people like Nan, there also is the desire to give back to their communities, to help others achieve a better life. It is a lesson we can all benefit from. She chose to get a degree in social work, and uh, I was just tremendously pleased uh, as a DMH administrator to see her recruited by, by Arthur Center to work as a uh, CPRC case manager. I mean, she had struggled with this herself, she knew it, she had the professional training, and now she was going to help others to overcome their wound and so they could be heroes too in their own recovery. We're all just people. You know, some of us have cancer, some of us have planner's warts, some of us have diabetes, others have chronic coughs, some of us are schizophrenic, <laughs> you know, uh, some of us are bipolar. You wouldn't run away from somebody or freak out if, if you found out that, you know, a family member or a neighbor was uh, diagnosed with diabetes or leukemia, you know, or uh, halitosis. So, I mean, it, it, I'm not trying to make light of it, but I'm just saying that, that that's what it is. We're people and we have to treat each other like that. Right now we celebrate the person with a mental illness that makes good. And that's okay. But I think there needs to come a time when it's no longer 
unusual or unheard of for a person with a mental illness to make them. I think everybody has it in them to do so, to pro-cover. This is what I tell my clients.